What's up everybody? Uh, today, this morning, I'm going to unbox Kie. I'm gonna do a little French twist on her name. Kie, first sword of death. Uh, one six scale action figure. Uh, she's part of the Court of the, Court of the Deadline from Sideshow. Uh, this is the first uh, one six scale action figure. Right there it says it. Uh, they had it in the Court of the Dead, so I just wanted to check it out. Came in a way bigger box too. It, um, here's the base too. I'll, I'll get through all that and open this up nice and neat for you. So what? For those who want to see the unboxing, it just came in a box. Okay, it just came in a cardboard box, plastic around this, and this came in a styrofoam uh, shell case. Boom! You open it. That's it. Okay. So I don't have to go through all that. Yeah. So open it real quick. See what's up. I I want to see how she stays on this. I'm, what if this magnet? I don't even know. Maybe just stick around here. The base is really cool too, so we will check it out. I've heard people call her Kira, Kyra, KK. You know what? We can call her Kiki. I'm gonna call her Kiki. All right. Oh, and it's 15 and over, guys. That uh, says it on the box. All right. Look. Look. All right. Somewhere in the box. Somewhere. Please read it. 15 and up. Okay. 15 and up. So go home. No kids allowed. Right, let's See start it. with the base. Uh, the base is, it looks heavier. Uh, it looks heavy, but it's not really that heavy, okay? Um, very cool detail, some kind of like a cave or something like that. Bunch of skulls because she's the sword of death. Look, I'm not into the, I don't know about the factions. I don't read the books. I don't play the game. It's very popular though, so um, I'm sorry, I guess. I don't have time for it really. But um, here's uh, the base over here. It's got some emblems. I don't know if it's she's a faction of death or flesh or whatever it is. Ah, you see, I know something. All right, so a little bit of skulls. It goes all the way around the base. Very cool, very cool. Stone, stone, stone. Let's go back to the skulls. This dirt here looks really cool. Looks like it'll fall off, but it, it doesn't. There's a little base here. I wonder where I can mess with it. And on the bottom of it, it's nothing. It's just a kind of foamy kind of material just to hold her up. All right. Here's a little box here. Very cool. I love the packaging. Um, reminds me of a hot toy package. So you see it opens up your little magnetized um, flippy flippy flippa. Whatever you call them. There it is. Boom. Oh shit. She comes in instructions. Well, I don't have instructions and it's just a pain in the game. Oh, it's like a, oh, it's like a manual. It's like a remote manual. I never listened to them. Well, I'm not going to really pose her too much. Oh, it smells good too. So it's like perfume or something. So, um, yep, manual. I'm not gonna pose or go crazy. I'm just gonna show you the figure. Maybe kind of, maybe stick around there. Maybe not. Um, so let's see what this uh, foam, uh, foam little top here to protect. Let's see if we can get to it. Ooh, very nice. Well, she's right there, and she's headless. Very cool. I will show you all the pieces. All right. This figure is very interesting. Okay. Um, I didn't know how elaborate it was, okay? So, I just took her part out. There's there's two parts to this box, okay? One box comes out with these little, I'm gonna show you, okay? So this is her, uh, this is her skull uh, mask. She has it in her statue as well. We do have the statue here. So that's really cool. It's got little real chains to it, kind of rusty look. Uh, very well painted. And you can see the magnets right there. So I'm sure it's gonna magnetize to her head. This looks like a, um, shoulder chest piece here put it on here it's really weird guys you have to dress her and that's not the weirdest part of this of this figure it's it's interesting it's I'm not saying it's bad I'm not saying it's good it's just it took me off guard okay this is a very cool effect here um, let's see what I can do here that is really cool nice clear blue resin like smoke or something coming out of it a soul of a the unfortunate soul, very cool. Skull comes in there, very nice. Oh, nice and neatly uh, packaged too. Now, uh, here's her head, okay? Gotta be careful with this because it, it was wrapped. Um, if you pull on it, you would have pulled on the hair. I didn't even realize it, but the hair is resin. I mean, everything in here is, it's not uh, It's not real hair. It's kind of sculpted already. Well, there, that's what she looks like. She's a badass. Very cool, ball joint inside, very nice. And here's her hair. More skulls, stuff like that. Okay, very cool. Now, I didn't put it on her yet because I wanted to, I don't know how many, 
it's like a sensory thing, okay? I'll explain it to you. This is her, okay? She, I know she's headless, I get it. It's a ball joint, whatever. But, <laughs> the, <laughs> this right here, the, the, the flesh, it's like the, <laughs> it feels like real, it feels like real flesh. It's not, ah, I use this rubber material that is so bizarre. And I bet you can undress her and everything. It's, yeah, it's pretty weird. You can even, you could probably undress like this part, you know what I mean? You could do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not, you know, not in front of you guys anyways. <laughs> anyways, no, seriously. It is a weird material. It is awesome material. This is so bizarre. Um, yeah, it's cool. You could tell there's like a metal frame inside of her. It feels, it feels like a metal frame with this rubbery flesh. I've never felt a figure like this before. I'm, I'm a newbie too, so uh, the feet are plastic. And I'm sure there's a ball joint down there. You can take it off. It goes, take them off, stuff like that. So you, you have to dress her, like I said. You you gotta have to kind of dress her. And I, I'm not even sure how to dress her. I'd have to look at other, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if I'm doing this right, doing it wrong. You know what I'm saying? You have to really get into that. Man, damn it, there has a manual to it. But anyways, I'll do it um, eventually. And then, uh, oh, that's, that's really cool. So don't be freaked out when there's flesh I mean, it's like real it's really weird so let's see if this magnetizes correctly yep magnetizes really well yep very good yep very cool very cool figure for that part I am going to uh, pick up this camera real quick for you so you can see all the accessories in here so it looks like a couple of just pieces of armor maybe shin guards shoulder guards um, she's got a ring down there I have no idea what that thing is. It might be a amulet or something. Who knows? I don't know. They don't. They don't really give you too much info. She's like, here you go. Go ahead. Go look for it. Oh shit. Two pair. Uh, two more pair of the feet right there on the right. Uh, two more pair. Sorry, one pair of feet. Foots. Whatever. And then that's uh, more hands there, so you can mess with. So I'm gonna try to assemble this girl uh, to the best of my ability, and to see what she kind of looks like. So. Freaky. And freaky. There's a third part, a third layer to the box with a caper cloak and the sword. I'm going to pull out the sword real quick for you to see if it's metal or plastic or whatever. Let's see what it is. All right, it's a plastic. I can feel it. Um, here's the... That's actually very, very well detailed. Kind of a flat paint to it, but man, it's a big-ass sword. How the hell would you... I, you know... The sword's as big as her. What are you overkill, girl? Whatever. But that's pretty cool. That's the sword. Let's see. Look at it again. Uh, but it's plastic. It feels plastic, and it kind of looks plastic. So, um, could have done better. I don't know. I'm not into all that. Here is the robes of the ma'am. Oh, very cool. Look at inside the stitching. It's very cool. There's a wire. I feel it. So that's inside the. Wow, you really have to mess with this girl. Dress her and everything. Um, so there's cool like weather wear here Looks like she got into a paint shop to be honest with you and then inside there is a Pattern of something it's like chicken bones <laughs> But I'm sure it's not so and there's a little string here you can kind of mess with um, It's it's actually more of a doll. Yeah, it is an action figure. They're right. I thought it was more of a More of a hot toy like I'm looking but no, it's it's more like a very very weird. I mean I can see weather word weird it's a doll, but it's high-end kind of. You you can't just goof around with this thing. And definitely is 15 and over. I would say 17, 18 and over. I, I can imagine what a 15-year-old would do with this thing. Especially if it feel, <laughs> feels like flesh. Uh, okay, so I'm going to try to assemble her, okay? So we'll see. We'll see. Uh, nuts. All right, that's my best attempt to pose her. All right, I lied. I'm not going to address her. And I'll explain why. Um, well... Here's a shoulder pad, okay? Just one shoulder pad. It's got all these elaborate little things to it. Um, it's like, it's, I don't know, it's like Barbie, extreme Barbie or something, okay? It's really hard to, it's not hard, it's just meticulous. You have to be really, really, really patient to do all this. And I'm not gonna, I just want people to do it themselves. That's a big ass sword. So, does she stand in her... Yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's see if... Uh, yeah, she's standing on there. 
those joints are really cool. Um, one complaint I have is the the sword's a little too heavy for her hand. You have to balance it. If not, um, it'll, it'll flip like that. I mean, it'll flip like this. Oh, never mind, she's holding it on now. But uh, it, it's, 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 at first when I put the sword in, which was easy. Uh, these are very uh, bendable, very cool. The sword kind of was a little too heavy for her wrist, but now it's working. I'm gonna keep it like this, uh, but there is a lot to it. I would love to see other people posing it, maybe putting pictures in the canteen and stuff like that, but uh, is she worth it? Yeah, she's awesome. Uh, these price points aren't very high either for, the, for these figures. I think it's under 200 bucks. Maybe this one's 200 and something, maybe because of the base. They just released another one. Um, so, looks very good. So if you have any questions, let me know. I mean, there's a lot of pieces to her. I'm sure the cape goes around her. All these shin guards. Uh, it's And it's kind of weird trying to put them on because the, it feels like flesh. So remember, this is not a resin. This is a weird rubber. And I wonder how it would dry out if it does dry out. Um, put her in a case or something. All right, guys. That was a, this was a long video. So really do your homework on her. Uh, she's awesome. All right, guys. See ya.